So it, it's just strange how those shavings happen. <laughs> Feeling? Yeah, let's do it. So we had a transmission um, go bad on one of the Volvos that we bought. That's the last thing. The mileage is what, like 650 around yeah. there? Yeah, 650. Uh, so this one, we did the clutch on it, I think uh, December, that's what we checked. That's when we did the clutch, uh, actuator, and the clutch control valve. Which after all, market, right? After market. Yeah. And we always do them. Anytime that we drop a trans, we always do all three. It's, yeah. The labor yeah. doesn't make any sense to be. Yeah, to skip around. anything. Yeah. Yeah. So that yep. was done in, yeah, six December. months ago, right? December. Oh, December? December was it? Oh, yeah. I thought it was six months ago. You have the, you have it out. So we got a, it's the action right here. And it was throwing. Uh, clutch actuator position codes. Okay. That's your position sensor right here. And I don't know, I, I didn't show it to you, but this right here, this is, uh, these are shavings right here. So this uh, sensor, it's magnet magnetically controlled. Mm -hmm. And that's how it knows it posi its position. So, I don't know, the light's turning nice. off. So as you see those shavings, are gonna interfere with the sensor's uh, readings right there. So that's throwing that off, but the reason these shavings occurred is this actuator failed. As the truck was driving, the actuator was pushing forward and it was causing the slippage on the clutch. Yeah. That slippage caused these shavings, which is this over here. And that's what's causing the sensor to malfunction or read uh, improperly. Mm. And they are all. So it's the same uh, aftermarket. Both here. Yeah. I think we have another one that's acting up, so that's gonna be the same. Same thing. Because we bought, we bought multiple of the same Correct. from the same supplier, right? Yeah. And then you can see some uh, cracks, some heat, some heat cracks on the flywheel already. With the, you know, it's March right now. Yeah. That was just under three months. That's crazy. And all this damage occurred from this uh, faulty actuator. Yeah. So if this one is, if we have a similar that's acting up, that might be the same problem, right? Yeah, that's what's probably gonna come down to. That's not good. Well, they're gonna hopefully warranty it, but we still have to do the labor. Yeah, like when we brought it down, there was a lot of shavings. Uh, do you wanna talk about the symptoms? What was happening? So the symptoms it? is... Uh, and we're talking about, this is I shift Volvo, obviously. I shift correct. I... So this one is, uh, the, the response on the accelerator pedal was kind of weird. You would hit the, the throttle, you wouldn't get any response for five to 10 seconds. And then it would slowly engage, and then it would just take off. And then it would shift, fine, no problem. Yeah, yeah. But the problem was in the very beginning. Sometimes it would it would uh, lag a little bit at shifting. But that was the main main issue right there with jerk to take off. So the number one takeaway is just don't buy off the market. We learned our lesson on this one. Uh, and on knock sensors too. On knock sensors, yeah. Yeah, we learned that one. So obviously just don't go cheap on uh, aftermarket like we mentioned before, bumper corners, headlights, stuff that labors is yeah. too bad. The problem is you don't know if the shop is telling you the truth, you know? That's yeah. the, like, I would say the number one issue is what they're putting in. Well, not only that, but like I guess right now with the supply shortage. Availability, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're pretty much you don't like, have a choice. do I go with the aftermarket or do I sit the truck down for another, who yeah. knows, there's no yeah. telling. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm afraid a little bit on how many we bought of them because we usually buy We buy usually bulk. like by in bulk. Mm -hmm. But it, um, I mean, we've had them for a while already and this would be the first one, like I said, possibly second one that's failing. And we've had those aftermarket ones for quite a bit already. Yeah. Well, um, and it doesn't mean that they're all faulty. It doesn't just, mean, no, it doesn't right. necessarily mean that. It just means that even the OEMs fail. Obviously, mm -hmm. if the OEMs fail, there's more possibility that the aftermarket could fail. 
we should check what uh, if the if the OEM availability is messed up if you have to wait if there's a uh, oh. back order. Maybe at the time be before when we replaced it, maybe there was. Yeah. But right now we got a hold of it quick. We did. Yeah, Rick already got the actuator and the clutch. Yeah, yeah, because that might be the case. You, when when we needed that at that time, I think. What we also do is we look at a better pl price, and whoever gives us a better price. But we learned a lesson here with the aftermarket, obviously. Um, yeah, and it only makes sense that this is what this right here, these shavings. Yeah. Once it gets those shavings are interfering with That's the signal right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty much like a dirty ABS uh, tone ring. Yeah. If it's dirty, then it's not gonna pick up the signal properly. Yeah. Right here, like there's no point of failure in the harness because these yellow marks are here with the tape, that's where you secure it with the zip tie. Mm -hmm. There's no way it can get rubbed or anything. So it's not, not an electrical fault. Mm -hmm. This just failed. It, pa it passed a, a leak test. Yeah. So it, it's just strange how those shavings happen from slippage. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like what? And it, it does happen, especially like when the guys are at docks backing yeah. up, yeah. you get that like uh, yeah. code up on the dash. Yeah. So also has to do yeah, with it the could driver. be it could be it could be driver related, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even on the clutch, you can see you can see the groove right here. You can feel it more, but it's visible. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. Within that time frame, I, it's too short of a time frame for that to yeah. occur. They well, we caught it. We caught it. I mean, it started having issues. That's why we knew yeah. about it. But that would have fall apart. Yeah. Pretty soon. Definitely. That would have ended up on a, on the tow bill. Yeah. The back of the hook. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and talk to you soon.